All right, how's everybody doing today? I think I'm going to show y'all how to make something different. I'm going to show y'all how to make a, a hot dog loop. So, I got this off Turbo Squid. Turbo Squid, uh, you can get free meshes and stuff off of there. This was one of the free ones. Uh, I just have to uh, separate the parts because we're not going to use the bun and the mustard in the box. We're just going to use the, the wiener there. So I had to separate it by going to mesh, separate, and the loose parts like that. Now I can go back to object mode and I can get rid of the mustard, the bun, and the box. So we just got the wiener, hot dog wiener there. Now, uh, let's see. What I do normally is import in like uh, an asset from the game, give me an idea of the scale something needs to be. So this new feature, this user library, it makes it easier to load stuff in that you've already saved. So, but anyway, there's that hopper from the game, and that's the size of the hot dog there, which that's going to need to be. Uh, probably wider and lengthwise oh that's what I mean lengthwise it needs to be because you need a loop a loop needs to be um, you need to have enough room you know so you don't fall off the sides when you go around so that looks like that'll probably work so maybe you're making a log whether you're making a log bridge I mean a log loop a hot dog loop don't matter what kind of loop it is uh, it'll all work the same way so what you want to do is you want to take whatever it is you're making and you want it to kind of be on the ground uh, it don't have to be but I figure if you start where you want it to spawn then that's where it'll, it'll end up so that's about where I need it to be so now what we do is um, we pick the object we go to modifier properties and we add an array now what an array will do is it's going to uh, depending on the which way you want it to go it can extend them out and however many you want it to recreate but we need to go that way and we need enough of them that you know we can kind of make it around the loop but we don't want too many either I made too many earlier and the car would never made it around that loop so let's try this and see maybe a few more all right now we're going to apply this and now we're going to add a simple deform actually wait a minute before we do that go to add empty circle and I'm gonna scale it up the circle uh, that is basically the same thing when we add plane axes except we're adding a circle and you'll see what that does in a second so we pick the hot dogs and we say simple to form and then the origin we pick the circle now we go to bend and we need to rotate this it needs to lay flat like a hula hoop so we'll pick this circle and I'm gonna rotate it so that it is flat on the ground 90 degrees now that should this is weird well anyway that's how you do it now you don't attach it yet I mean you don't apply it yet you now pick the loop and you rotate the loop on like the Z axis and you see how it offsets the loop there now you may want a different kind of offset you may want a loop that does like like that I don't know I mean it's up to you whatever you want to do you can have a one that's you know closerly packed together 
All right, so now we're going to apply the simple deform. Now we need to go back to edit mode and we need to pick hit A, just select A on the keyboard and go to mesh separate by loose parts. That's going to separate all them wieners so that they're all separate. Now we go to object mode and we're going to pick one wiener on the end there and we're going to add a modifier, add array. And we got to pick whichever one it is that's going to send it down the road. Which, if yours go in the wrong way, then put a minus. Put like minus one, and it'll go the opposite way. Uh, maybe you want yours to have some space in between. You can do that by just putting like a point. I mean, putting like one point something. One point one. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Minus one point one. Minus one point three. Now the more the number goes, the more space it'll have. Uh, less than one, the more they overlap. So that's how that works. All right, now we need to, let's see, put some more. All right, now we're gonna apply that. And now we're gonna pick the uh, wiener here on the end of that one. And we're gonna apply another array and that's also going to go down the Z axis, but yours may be the X or the Y. I don't know this thing every day. It's a different direction. I don't know. I don't get it. I'm not sure quite what's going on with that. But anyway, that's how we do that. Now we don't need this empty any longer, which is that circle. And we don't need the camera or we don't need the light that's in the scene, which I may have already deleted. But we need to apply that array and now we're going to join all these hot dogs into one. So I should be able to hit A since there's nothing else, no camera or lights or anything. I should be able to just object join. Alright, so we'll call this hot dog loop. And the next thing is the texture name. I'm going to name the texture hot dog and uh, but I'm going to use lowercase alright now we need to duplicate this just pick it and hit shift D and be sure you're in object mode and right click after you hit shift D or hit escape and then uh, that'll put it back in the because it'll move it when you duplicate it'll stick to your mouse and move so you just hit the right mouse button and it'll let go of it. We're going to call this C-O-L-M-E-S-H-1 that'll be our collision mesh. Now we need to add two empties, two plain axes. Alright, uh, one of them we're going to call base zero zero and the other one start zero one. We're going to, uh, just like you move something on your desktop, just how you move an icon, except you hold shift. We're going to do that. We're going to move this start and drop it into base like that. Now we're going to do that with these objects. We're going to hold shift, left click, drag, and drop. Put those in the start. So that your collision mesh and your your loop, your mesh, your object, your main object, we're in start zero one and start zero one is in base zero zero. So that's how the uh, how this should look, just like that. Now I'm going to export this to the desktop. Export Collider, and I have on my desktop a hot dog folder. But I'm going to make a new one. Hot dog loop. And then inside that folder, I'm going to export. You can call this whatever you want to call it here. And it's going to copy the texture over there. That's fine. Let, let it go. So that's gone. Now what we're going to do is take a material file that 
I use them off the previous thing. Whatever I made like the day before, I'll just use that. So if I go into my my levels here, I have several things I've made. I'll just go into like the art folder and I'll pick one of these things. Uh let's see. Flat rocks decals. Uh, actually let me do this. Let me uh let me get one that I just recently made. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. It's the wrong level. Small grid. So anything I make, I have my material that's in a folder that goes with this stuff. Just copy mine if you're making something. It's the easiest thing to do. Just copy mine and use it. Copy that file and then go into where like you export something like this hot dog loop and paste it. Now what you're going to do is open it and as you can see it's already filled out this is where the texture name goes hot dog hot dog hot dog that's what you put now the base material the base color map what it's asking for here is if you pick the texture and go here the materials you'll see the name of the texture that's what it's asking for that hot dog name that's what goes up at the top and then the base color map that's the actual image for the texture but there's no other maps any other one so this is all we need to do we save it oh well I didn't actually do any changing so it won't save now we just take this folder copy it and whatever level we want to put it in which ah uh, see Let's put this one in levels. Ah, I'll put it in this. Or no, I'll put it in Utah. In the art folder. You may not have a user folder for a particular level. The only way you get those is by loading the game. Loading whatever level it is. Hit F11 and say save level then it will create the game will create in the user folder in the levels folder a user folder for that level and then that's the one like Utah for example I go in the art folder and that's where I paste like the objects and everything I make I make like this so you paste stuff I make you just paste it in the art folder so it's in its own little folder like this and uh, you may not have an art directory you may have to create a folder called art if you don't see one that's fine do that so let's load the level I'll show you the other hot dog from the other video this was the hot dog with the mustard in the bun this did not work worth a flip as you can imagine the tires kept popping so <laughs> I'm going to load just the wiener now you can you don't have to do that with the texture you can when the game loads alternatively without putting doing that stuff with the text file like I just did this is all you'd have to do you hit F11 Before you do anything else, you go to Material Editor, and you say New Material, and you would type in the name. And the name you would type is as it appears here in the object, like Hot Dog. That would be the name that you put here, you hit Create, and then you'll see this turn white. And what you do is like for this base color, you pick it, and then you would locate that texture. Which like I said, I put the stuff in my, uh, I put all the stuff in the folder so that's easy to find. See, that would be the texture. I would click that, hit open, and then I would go to, up at the top after you do that, save, save material. Only then, 
can you go into the asset browser and drag that out of there if you don't make the material first it'll be red so that's why I prefer to just do the text file version opposed to doing it this way but that's just my way I mean you can do it either way so let's take a look at this hot dog loop and look at that there ain't that something Bam, shiny and everything. Well, that's inheriting whatever. <laughs> that's inheriting whatever the uh, other settings were. Uh, this is actually PBR. <laughs> a PBR hot dog. Well, it's only really using like the reflections of the PBR. I don't have any other materials in there. That looks like a. That looks like a wiener. <laughs> yep, hot dog loop wiener. Let's get this off this bridge and try it and see how it works. I'm going to move it down here. I wish there was a way to make a hot key. God dog, it, that irritates my ass. Can't just grab that damn thing. It's hard to grab it. Them damn arrows, man. They, they drive me crazy, man. Hey, that works out great. It's like a slow transition into the damn road. That worked out perfect. I just need to kind of... There we go. Now we need to uh, rebuild collision. Now we can go back to our car. Oh, let me fix the road. I think I still got a hole in the road from where I was making that... Uh, Somebody asked me about how do you make the hole in the road. I'm going to do that video next. I'll make it easy for y'all to do that. So, I forgot the mod still here too. I packed it as a prefab so it loads with the map. map. If you do that though, be sure you never take that mod out of the mod folder or the level will crash. So I'm just going to delete this now. I don't need it. Fix the road here. That's fine, I think. Alright. Let's pick the uh, car with the larger wheels. Let's give this a test drive and let's see how it works. hot dog loop who would have ever thought well it's a first for everything <laughs> a hot dog loop mm, pretty funny